Hi guys, uh, my name is Mr. Rice. I am head of geography here in Jebel Ali School. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what the IGCSE geography course looks like. Uh, so it is an Excel board. Um, you will sit two exams, both of which are sat at the end of year 11. The first one is a physical geography paper. We have three topics from which you choose two to answer in the exam. The topics are rivers, coasts, and hazardous environments. This paper lasts for one hour, 10 minutes, and makes up 40% of your overall mark. The second paper is a human geography paper. Again, you've got three main topics, which you choose two from to answer. That is urban environments, economic activity, and the rural environment. Uh, this paper comes with an additional topic. Um, again, you get three to choose from. They are climate change, globalization, and development. This paper makes up the other 60% uh, and it lasts for one hour, 45 minutes. There is no coursework um, throughout the course. It is a 100% exam. However, in both of those papers, you get fieldwork questions. Um, the fieldwork is a two-day fieldwork where we go to uh, different places around Dubai, mainly a, a coastal study and an urban study. Um, and the data that you collect then, you can use that to answer questions in your exams. We have three lessons per week. Uh, there is no swap over like there would have been at Key Stage 3 with history. So lots of students will ask me what skills they need to have to study geography. Um, it's a very popular subject. Both the current year 10 and year 11 year groups have over 50% of the students sitting geography. Um, there's not one particular skill that I think um, stands out, but I would expect you to have a keen interest in the subject, and I would also be expecting you to work very hard. Um, other things that I, I think are important are students need to be very organized, they need to be good at meeting deadlines, they need to be good at both working independently and working on group tasks. Um, I encourage students to keep up to date with global news events, having good extended writing skills and being good uh, on ICT is also very, very helpful. Um, the Edexcel ICT, IGCSE geography course is great preparation for all other geography qualifications, whether that is at A level or at IEB. Um, another question students will ask is, so why should I pick geography? What benefits can I get from it? So geography is going to help you be much more aware of everyday situations and issues faced by people who live in Dubai, in other parts of the UAE, and all across the world. Geography is a highly topical subject, ever-changing as world events unfold, and many of our lessons will begin with discussions on a specific event that has happened around the world that day or that week. When you see newspaper articles or television reports, maybe about a potential supervolcanic eruption in the USA, maybe about the rates of people moving to Dubai, or more topical, the spread of coronavirus, your geography course is really going to help you make sense of what is happening. Geography is going to help you understand the environment at a local and a global level. You're going to get some real life experience of the issues we discuss in class when you do your field work. And it will help you develop a wide range of skills that can be used cross-curricularly, such as map skills, improving your English, your mathematical skills and your ICT skills. It will help you understand cultures in the UAE and throughout the world, and it will also help you to know where places are without the use of Google Maps. Careers that are linked with geography include things like conservation, ecology, environmental and town planning, teaching, surveying, and even archaeology. Uh, for any information, guys, on any of those, please feel free to contact me.